Hey there, Heather Freeman here with The Painted Playground, and I get to be your guide here, and um, where I get to show creatives how to let their inner artist out to play on the canvas, no matter if you like to dabble in paint, if you um, are an established artist. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I've been helping thousands of creatives uh, who paint all different kinds of things. So whether it's um, abstracts or figures or landscapes or um, whatever you can think of, um, I'm going to show you. And so there's tons of things I want to I want to share with you. And so we're going to get started. So I'm going to move you down so you can check out what I'm working on today. A fun little painting. And when you pop on, um, let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know. So let's get you scooched down a little bit there. All right, let me know if you can see that okay. Give me a thumbs up in the comments. Um, I'm gonna get some colors out. So this is my online studio and this is where the magic happens. So welcome, grab a beverage. Um, you know, this is where we get started. This is where the fun begins. So I wanted to play with a little bit of pink. A little bit of blue. Just gonna mix that up a little bit. Get that going over here. And let's see. Let's get a little pink going. So I'm gonna get some white. All right, here we go. Got some pink, got my blue. Throw this over here a little bit. Got a few paint brushes out, and I'm just working on a small canvas today. Uh, this is a, what would it be, six by six inch. Um, love to work on various sizes. Uh, let me get my water in a better place. I can reach. Start playing. So tell me, how many of us have had that feeling where we want to create something magical? We want to express ourselves more. You know, we want to play more, but we hesitate or, or hold back for, for whatever reason. You know, and especially now, especially during these times. Hello from Connecticut. <laughs> You know, it can create doubt when we constantly second guess ourselves. We're just smushing and playing. Laying down my first layer of color here. So, you know, we've all been there, you know, but seeing and hearing from those who have embraced this time, you know, are seeing it as an opportunity to, you know, do the things that are meaningful. You know, it's, it's incredibly powerful because you, you realize that, you know, this is an important moment in your bigger journey. You know, and who you are now and what you're dealing with now is, is part of that journey. All right. You know, and, and more than ever, you know, it's time to pick the path that you're gonna take. And I believe it's this passion this passion inspired creative that, you know, we have this responsibility to, you know, put down our shield and speak out for what we believe in, you know, to really find our voice, share it with the world, make the world more beautiful.
Sue from Cape Coral, Florida. Welcome, Sue. So glad to see you here. Yeah, when you're hopping on, just let me know where you're watching from. It's always super fun. All right. Let's see, I might play with a little paper towel because I'm working fast today. And that kind of leaves a fun texture there. Let me see. I'm going to pop my heat gun on real quick. Get this baby drying. So yeah, um, you know, right now there's some big challenges going on and there's always going to be those challenges. You know, when I first got it started in, in painting and helping others express themselves more and be more of themselves, it was, gosh, probably about 14, 15 years ago. And I started out working with young girls. You know, I saw, um, let me grab a... A need in our community for young girls needing um, a way to be able to express themselves and be more connected with themselves. I started out by creating a girls club that, you know, the intention was really to help girls connect with who they are. And then it grew from there because. I had moms, part of the club, you know, those moms were saying, okay, what about me? I am loving what this is doing for my kid. I could use this too. And so that's when I branched out and started working with adults too. We definitely have this innate need to be ourselves and be able to express ourselves. Let's start there. It's still a little dry, so I'm going to try something else. I'm going to find my black. You want to say hi, Zoe? Zoe mm -hmm. just popped in. Mm -hmm. She's one of the first, the founding members of my Gutsy Girl Club. Growing up to be an amazing young woman. So yeah, so right now we've got some challenging times and women are leading the way. Yes, we've got some amazing guys out there too. Hi, Adriana from Florida. Welcome. So glad you're here. Playing with paint today. I know the temptation when things get challenging is to duck out, go hide, <laughs> right? But it's these times when we need you and other strong women like yourself to stand up and stand out and shed a light you know, and what's possible. So this is our opportunity to be bigger and better and share more of our creativity. Can you see that okay? Oop. There we go. So when 
it's times like these where we can make the most of it and share our creativity, really step into who we are. I'm just gonna play with some lettering. I don't care, this doesn't have to show up. I'm just kind of laying in the foundation. I'm gonna come back over with some paint. See if this is going to work. My paint pen is being temperamental, but I can come back over that. Once it dries more. So yeah, now's the time to really look inward and look inward to ourselves and rethink our creative expression and what we can really say when we come to the canvas and we want to paint. Oh, that's working better. That's working better. And the goal of the Painted Playground, it's simple. It's to it's empower, to empower you with a reliable process that creates more flow and protects your creative expression from you know the stop and goes, especially during challenging times. For example, like what we're going through right now. You know, life is always gonna be busy. There's always gonna be chaos going on. But we can, you know, rethink how we approach that and come at it so that we are giving the best of ourselves, we have balance, and we still enjoy the time that we're in. So we're not going to get this time back. So in the way that we express ourselves, it's evolving. So landscape painters, figurative painters, abstract painters, media artists, you know, anyone who has a love or experience and joy that they want to share, you know, they've made the bold decision to incorporate more of themselves into their work. Um, and, and you'll see exactly how to unleash that voice and let loose that voice because Right now's the time. You know, it's one thing to know the technical pieces of of art and composition and you know, line and form and all the elements. And it's another thing to be able to connect with your inner artist and really be able to express that voice inside of you. And that's what we're all about. And ex creative expression, it's on fire, you know? People are craving a way to feel better, to feel more balanced, to feel, feel more normal. Um, they want to come out of a challenging time feeling better and stronger for it. And they're also craving connection. 
you know, an ex ex expressive painting really provides a safe place for people to connect, not, you know, not only with themselves in a deeper and more heartfelt way, um, but with each other. So the opportunity is now, and I welcome you to join the expressive painting movement with me. And um, I can't wait to, to see you here as we paint and play together. Um, so keep watching, follow along. You can hit that follow button uh, and you'll be notified when I go live next. I'm gonna have a lot of fun here. All right. So get out there, be you, join me for some fun. Have a great day and I'll see you next time at the canvas. All right, bye for now.